I'm Ellie and this Eyebrows. This is a short video on why men need feminism. Eyebrows. Feminism works for all genders, from gender oppression, from ideas of masculinity and femininity. Masculinity and femininity aren't oppressive, though. They're just opposite ends of a spectrum, like the difference between your hair and your eyebrows. The patriarchy rests on the concept of men being masculine, aggressive, strong. Does it? I thought the patriarchy was for keeping women down. Bloody hell, it's been busy since I last did a video. This, of course, doesn't benefit all men. It benefits the select few who are in power and are strong but the stereotypes remain. Well, then that's not patriarchy, is it? If it's a if it's a select few, that's like, that's closer to Occupy Wall Street, the whole we are the 99%. Th what the fuck are you on about? Since we're brought up believing in the concept of masculinity and of femininity being the opposite to it. As opposed to what? I mean, fucking... We don't question it, but it hurts every gender in that men aren't socially allowed to be weak. Of course men are allowed to be weak socially. The only time you're really not allowed to be weak is either during a weightlifting contest or in the fields of battle. How many men who aren't living up to the stereotypes of being strong and aggressive are ridiculed for it? Okay, yeah, fair enough, but you really only take the piss out of those because you know they're not going to swing their handbag at you. You don't take the piss out of someone who's built like a brick shit house because he will knock you the fuck out. Of course it hurts women as well due to the people who have been, who have had the aggressive stereotypes so drilled into them that they are aggressive. What? Feminism for men works to break gender roles. Mmm, gender roles. Gender roles aren't just the strong male and the weak dependent female. What? Then what the fuck's the whole point of this, eyebrows? They're also what fuels our expectations in life. For example, men are often led to expect a good job and financial stability. What? The, where the fuck are you getting this information? The only thing you can expect from being a male is your blatant penis envy. Women aren't led to expect this quite so much due to the dependent part of the gender roles. Women aren't led to expect financial stability. Think about the pressure from your own side for you to go out and achieve financial stability. And if you want to stay at home and raise your children, God forbid. The issue with expecting financial stability is that it's not often that likely. What do you mean? It's not only likely, it's necessary. Unless you're going to live off of your parents for the rest of your life, which you can't because just like the follicles of your hair, they are going to die. In an economy such as now, it's even less. So for many people, many of whom are men, it kind of leads to a breaking point. What, because of an inability to work for a living? You can't blame the patriarchy for the fact that you're self-entitled and it sounds like mummy and daddy are running out of money. Aside from fixing the economy and making sure that these expectations can actually be fulfilled... Look, you either want it done or you know how you want it done. You can't have both. We could also stop the expectations from being there. Not because you're not allowed to have goals and dreams, but because... Because... Hello? Oh, come on. Gendered expectation. Really? That's what I waited for? It shouldn't be thrust onto anybody. Right, I've got a fun quote from Laurie Penny's Unspeakable Things saying... Yay, a fun quote. <laughs> You're welcome. Feminism works for the working man. Oh, eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. You do seem like a girl who really doesn't believe in the words that she's saying, probably because they don't make any sense, even to you. And I seem like someone who should really get into the habit of watching a video before I respond to it. 